I will reveal six incredibly useful AI research tools that will allow you to publish research papers in Q1 journals without plagiarism and completely ethically. These tools will help you to do everything from generating high impact research topics for Q1 journals, reading the literature faster, structuring your research papers in just a few seconds, writing it to the standard required of you by Q1 journals and choosing the right journal. So first up is what I think is the best all-in-one AI research tool for researchers or PhD students, and it's called AvidNode. You can start using it for free. The link is in the description. There's also a discount code in the description for the paid version. So I'm just going to log in. And why do I think it's the best all-in-one research tool? Well, because it can literally help you to do everything you need to be doing on a daily basis as a researcher or a PhD student from for example planning your research study and generating your really good timeline through suggesting further research that you should focus on helping you to identify research gaps suggest research methods suggest hypothesis or a theoretical framework it can then also help you to write the paper from start to finish and then also help you to publish it by for example suggesting the right conferences or suggesting the right journal so really it does everything from start to finish and i forgot that it actually also help you to analyze your data for example it can code the whole interview for it using grounded theory or another qualitative approach and it also allows you to read papers much faster because you can upload a paper in here and then AvidNote will analyze it really quickly and suggest questions for you. And not just generic document questions that would work for any research paper, but actually questions that are very specific to this particular document, which I think is fantastic and missing from many other AI tools out there. So for me, this is by far the most comprehensive AI research tool. And if you just want to choose one AI tool, I would choose AvidNote because it does literally everything that you need to be doing as a researcher to publish research papers. Now, the second AI research tool to help you write research papers for Q1 journals is a tool that nobody actually talks about and I think it's incredibly useful. And it's called Logically, formerly known as Afferai. And the link to Logically is right in the description to this video. The discount code is also there. So I'll just log into my account and Logically is almost an all-in-one tool as well what it allows you to do is first of all connect your library to logically and upload all the papers that you have so that you can chat with these pdf documents but so that you can also reference them in microsoft word and i think this is a super powerful thing which most ai tools out there apart from paperpal are completely missing being able to work within microsoft word rather than on an external website because at the end of the day 99 percent of you are probably using microsoft already so why go to to an external website and then I have to sync everything and download the text. That's why I really love Afri so much because you can just do everything within Microsoft Word. So first of all, it allows you to insert references, and then it also, of course, allows you to insert a bibliography. Now, I would say one thing that this insert bibliography is really hidden. So if it's one of the first times that you're using Afri, it's pretty difficult to find, but it's hidden here under the three dots and then you insert bibliography. And then, of course, you can also change the citation settings. And there's a million different styles here. Just look how many different referencing styles there are here so this replaces zotro it replaces mendeley and it's way better than them because it actually offers a research assistant in here where you can type any question that you want and then either go into semantic scholar mode which will scan all the other papers or you could just go for the papers in your library or even specify a particular paper in your library if you just want to chat with that pdf document so we'll send that question in and we'll immediately get an answer in here which we can also copy and paste into our paper now one thing that i did forget to do was to select in the document retrieval which pdfs from my library i want logically to refer to so if you do that then you're also going to get references 
in here for example you can see one reference here another reference here and I think a really cool thing is that it actually gives you the page numbers and then when you click on that you can actually see what is written in the PDF to verify whether the answer that logically gives you is accurate or not now logically is also a writing assistant so it can help you to summarize the document rewrite a paragraph provide supporting evidence and numerous other things so I think if you're still using Mendeley or Zotra for referencing you should definitely get rid of them because logically it's 10 times better than them and allows you to chat with PDF documents you have a research assistant helps you to write papers structure them so start using logically for free right now the link is in the description there's also a discount code if you want to go for the paid version now tool number three that I want to share with you I think is the best AI writing assistant in Microsoft Word and that tool is PaperPal and I know that I said the best writing assistant but it can actually do way more than just assisting you with your writing but let's just quickly check out its true power in terms of writing papers so first of all if you already have a paper written it will help you to proofread and edit everything and this will replace most of the basic proofreading and editing services at the fraction of the price because the paid version of PaperPal costs as little as nine dollars a month and in the description there's even a discount that lowers that price even further whereas professional proofreading and editing service will be thousands and thousands of dollars so it saves you a ton of money like this and it's very good at proofreading and editing what PaperPal is also really good at is helping you to structure your paper now previously you could only structure very limited number of papers in three or four limited fields but now if we go to the templates section and go to outlines there are numerous outlines for numerous different types of documents it can provide. There's a research article, there's a systematic review, a meta-analysis, a book chapter, case report, an essay, and so on. So in here, we're going to put in research article, put in a field, language and linguistics, put in the description. So what I'm going to do here is I already have the abstract, so I'm just going to give paper pal the abstract from my study, put it here and get it to generate an outline for me. So the more accurate that description is that you give to paper pal, the better the outline is going to be. And in the past, that outline was very, very generic, but now paper pal has gotten so good at it. Just look at the amount of detail that it provides for you in here. It's not just the big sections like the introduction methodology, but it's all the nitty gritty, right? Like implications, theoretical contributions, recommendations for future studies, limitations, all of that with bullet points and specific subtopics that you need to tackle in each specific subsection. So I think the only thing that is perhaps missing here, and I'm just being very picky, is the word count for each of those big section and subsections, which I think would make writing even easier. And then PaperPal has a lot of really fancy check tools like plagiarism check, journal submission check, AI review, which I think is really fantastic. You can check the flow and structure. Um, you can get AI to expand on your ideas, improve the introduction. There are so many things that AI can do here in terms of improving your text. That it can replace even really good editing services. So to me, PaperPal is by far the best writing tool in Microsoft Word. The next insanely useful AI research tool for writing research papers for Q1 Journal is SciSpace. It, to me, this is probably the best AI tool for doing a literature review, but it can also do way more than that. It can also help you to write the papers, suggest new ideas for future studies, and even help you to promote videos by recording presentations based on your AI avatar. So for example, in here, you can type in any research question that you've got for the initial exploration of the literature review. And what SciSpace is going to do is provide you, first of all, a summary of the current literature and then give you more details on each of the papers that it used. And the cool thing is that you can also change these columns. So you have literature survey, limitations, contributions, but you can adjust these columns to focus on the information that you think is the most useful. So for example, if I was exploring the literature, I wouldn't be really interested in the literature survey in here. I would be interested in the limitations, the main contributions, future research, but you can just see how this does the work that you, it will normally take you days or weeks and it does it for you in just a couple of 
seconds, giving you very accurate summaries of top papers that it has access to. Now, one thing to remember when you're doing this overall search is that SciSpace cannot actually read papers that are behind a paywall. So it kind of is only reading the open access papers, which of course is just a certain chunk and percentage of all the papers in your field. So if you want to make it even more accurate, what you want to do is upload the PDFs that you want to read into, um, into SciSpace in here into your library and then you can chat with any of those PDFs and ask specific questions and then the answers will be 100% accurate because SciSpace can actually read those PDFs. So this is probably the best AI research tool for literature review but as I said it can do so much more. For example it has a really advanced AI writer and you can either start with a blank piece of paper or even choose a template in here. And we've got the research proposal, literature review, abstract writing, thesis statement, or essay writing. I don't know why, but research paper is missing for whatever reason. I'm sure SciSpace will add it here, but for me, this is a big negative point because I mostly focus on writing research papers or review papers. Nevertheless, you could generate an outline in here, right? So you just ask it to generate an outline and you put in the description of your study. I think sometimes the 500 character word can be limit can be a problem because you can't provide as much detail as you would want to. Okay. And then you're going to get a lovely outline in here again, not just with the big sections, but also with the smaller sections and it's getting pretty accurate. I would say the one that PaperPal generated for us, it's even better and more detailed than this. So I think SciSpace can improve here. And for example, in terms of the importance of the research, well, it could provide us specific bullet points in terms of the topics that I need to tackle there. Nevertheless, we've got an outline here and we can also ask AI to continue writing with SciSpace citations, write the introduction, write the conclusion. It can do so much here for us that it's not just a literature review tool. It can also help you to find novel topics in here. And a really amazing feature I think it has that no other AI research tool out there has is to turn your research into a video. Now with social media, if you want to get more clicks, more eyeballs on your research and therefore more citations, turning it into a video and posting it in social media is a fantastic strategy, but not all of us are comfortable doing videos. So the only thing that you have to do here is upload a PDF. You can also create an AI avatar of yourself by recording a short video of you speaking. And in just a matter of a couple of minutes, SciSpace is going to create a video that summarizes your paper that is already formatted on social media and then you can post it there to get more citations. Now the fifth tool that I really want to talk about is an unbelievably useful AI writing assistant and that is Jenny. And the link to get started on Jenny for free is right below this video. I'm going to log into my account and we'll just start with a blank document. And you want to give a prompt to Jenny in here, make it as accurate and detailed as possible. And then you can click on start writing. And then Jenny will immediately generate a whole outline for you for that particular paper. And then what it does, it actually immediately suggests text that you could put in. And not only that, but it actually also adds references. And if you want to verify that what Jenny provides you is actually accurate, you can open that PDF document right in here and Jenny highlights that particular part of the text that it is referring to. Now in order to do that you also need to upload your own PDFs in here to the library. So you can just click on this and upload PDFs or easily connect with Zotro or Mendeley to import whatever you have there already or you could import a bib file as well. And another great feature is the chat in here because you can ask it any questions that you want and it will provide you answers based on the literature. And in fact, you can give AI more context, which I think is a really cool tool that I've never seen any other AI chatbot do. So for example, the answers can be based on the current document, but you could also add sources in here right? And you could search through all the sources that you've got here. If you've got specific collections, like you've imported, you know, entire literature review on a particular topic, you could also use those as sources to provide Jenny further context. Or of course, you could use your web or the entire library. Okay. And then when you send this prompt, Jenny will give you an answer referencing PDFs that you already have in your library. 
And the answer is very detailed. And what I really like about it is the referencing in here and how easily you can verify whether those references are correct. Now, and of course, I did not mention all the writing assistance that Jenny can provide for you. So for example, if you select um, a piece of text here, you can do AI edit here to improve fluency, paraphrase, simplify, strengthen the argument, add counter argument, you know, change tense. There's so much that it can help you to do that is not even funny. Again, replacing most basic proofreading and editing services, really helping you to write top-notch papers for Q1 journals ethically and without plagiarism. And the link to Jenny is right in the description. There's also a discount code that you can use if you want the paid version. Now, the sixth unbelievably useful AI research tool for writing Q1 research papers is called Consensus. And for me, that's by far the best AI search engine to do initial literature review search. Why do I like it? For a couple of reasons. First of all, if I ask it yes or no questions, what, what consensus is going to do is provide me, as the name suggests, the research consensus or lack thereof on a particular question, right? So in this case specifically, it analyzed 17 sources and 14 of them say yes to that question, one says probably and two say no. So it looks like there is a lot of scientific consensus on this issue but it might not be the case for all questions yes or no questions that you ask and it's a very quick and easy way to discover research gaps because after all if there is a lack of consensus on a specific issue that's where your study can come in and allow you to publish in a q1 journal now the cool thing here is this summary in here with all the references and the bullet points here with the main topics and if you click on each of those references it opens the text and then you can read it in more detail and it provides this detailed summary and it doesn't just work for yes or no questions i mean you can ask any question that you want to consensus and i use it all the time instead of google search because google search can return a lot of rubbish especially non-scientific rubbish so when i'm researching things for example for these videos or looking for answers to specific questions i like to be evidence-based and consensus is a fantastic evidence-based search engine when you're looking for answers to your questions and it also recently introduced this deep research feature which completely changes the game when it comes to reviewing the literature because it can really perform a very very deep search of the literature much more in depth than most AI tools that are out there right now right so you can type in any questions that you want select the deep search it's limited to a hundred searches um, a month it is only available on the page version of consensus but then you'll go here and what I really like about it first of all is that it shows me what it's actually doing step by step and what is the thinking process in here so for example right now it's conducting the initial survey and search strategy and I can actually see what it is doing it selected 49 eligible papers right and then it's looking at foundational theories and so on now one thing to say about deep search is that it takes a lot longer than a normal search so I wouldn't use it for all the basic searches that literature review searches that you want to do I would really just use it for the issues where you're really concerned about being 100% accurate and you want really in-depth information but you can see how detailed it is because for example it's also using alternative terminology in our questions to really find all the potential angles and potential studies that might be relevant to this specific question which is what human researchers would also do because if you're conducting a literature review search of course you'll generate a search string and some keywords but you also try to brainstorm related words or synonyms so that you don't miss out on any important literature and then at the end it ranked all the papers and then what we've got here is really almost like a scoping or a systematic literature review got the introduction we've got the methods look at how detailed this is this is just insane and then we've got the results in here with all the papers now obviously you still need to verify that information but honestly speaking this is like a proper scoping or a systematic literature review or at least the beginning of that so something that would have taken you weeks to do consensus does for you in a matter of a couple of seconds now these AI tools are certainly insanely useful if you want to write research papers for Q1 journals but if you're truly serious about publishing regularly 
in Q1 journals, becoming the go-to authority, getting tenure. What you need is a proven system that allows you to publish regularly and avoid rejection. So in this next video, I show you that exact system that will allow you to publish three to five research papers in Q1 journals every single year. So watch that video next.